Hey everybody, it's Austin again with um, a little bit of an upgrade on my uh, GMP gas blowback M4. Um, I've basically done a couple things with it. Uh, I did a new paint job today. Uh, it looks very nice. At least I think so. Um, anyway, I got on the front end. Don't try it, Sako. My cat was about to jump right on the table. Anyway, I got the um, a GMP front rail system, uh, basically from the delta ring up. Um, I think it was like two hundred dollars, and the barrel is steel, the flash hider is steel, the rail system is, I believe, CNC aluminum. Uh, the it's got a metal uh, A-frame slate post. Um, it does not come with an inner barrel. I thought it did, but it doesn't. Uh, it's also got a pretty cool trade. I don't know if you can see it. It's um, basically it says five, five, six, and eight. And my cat is really wanting to jump on this table right now, but I'm not gonna let him. Um, and it's a very nice rail system. That it really makes the gun front heavy. Uh, I do recommend it. You also um, get two rail covers and a vertical grip, as well as a butt stock. So you get pretty much all that for uh, two hundred dollars. I'm still running a an eleven inch uh, inner barrel. I got I'm probably gonna switch to a. Um, a uh, tight bore barrel and try to fix my hop up. Anyway, I got also the uh, GMP 3 run burst turbo kit. Uh, another awesome buy. Uh, it's got a steel hammer, steel, you know, steel sears, a steel trigger. It also comes with a um, steel dual um, your ambidextrous safety selector. Um, I also got a new bolt, a new loading nozzle. I think it's a zinc bolt. Um, and that's about it. Oh, I also got a steel tactical latch, by the way, because this was like $12 on eBay because I had to get a new, um, a new charging handle and a couple of problems I had with it was the pin right here um, the hole on the tactical latch is too small so what I actually ended up doing was drilling it out and um, you know kind of making it fit and I mean it's I mean, it is still it's very, very strong. The other problem I had with it was on the upper receiver. There's a notch that this catches. At first, it wasn't seating it, and I just had to kind of work it in and out. So now it doesn't let go. You got to use the latch. So about it for all that I've done um, for the paint I used uh, Krylon and Rust-Oleum just a tan and um, kind of a school bus yellow so um, I mean I like the paint job I'm definitely gonna give it a little more time to cure and uh, hopefully it wears in nice and um, that's about it uh, as always, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Have fun and play safe.